Hello and welcome to another episode of What in the Lore, and in today's video we will be taking a look at the Circle of Knowing and all of the members of this group, also known as Archons. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The Circle of Knowing is a group of non-playable characters in Final Fantasy XIV and Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. Also known as Archons, they are prominent figures in the game's main scenario quest and 7th Umbral Era storyline. A player would interact with different members of the circle depending on which nation they created their character in and which grand company they chose. They also determines which member of the circle defends the player when he or she is later attacked by Guy's von Balsar. The Circle of Knowing hails from the city-state of Sharalan in the northwestern Duranian region. They are marked by the tattoos on their neck. Now, there are six members that we know about within the Circle of Knowing, and they are as follow. Yashtola. Yashtola is a Seeker of the Sun Makote Conjure and one of the main characters from the Limsa Lumenza story arc. Her first appearance is right at the beginning of the game, helping the player during the Aurelia attack on the ship. She is very enigmatic and seems to be gathering info on the treasure of the Seal Rock and the mysterious Sea Serpent that's suddenly attacking ships around Limsa Lumenza. Like the other members of the Circle of Knowing, she has a tattoo on her neck. Yustola is often seen asking around each guild about the treasure in Seal Rock. However, during her investigation, she hears about an unprecedented attack by the Sahagin on Limsonian ships in the Southern Lighthouse led by a shadowless man, and that while these attacks happened, a pirate group called Kraken's Arms landed on Seal Rock. Discovering that a pirate called Emmerich may know something about it, she heads for the Melvin's Gate, where he is supposed to be hiding from another pirate band called Sanguine Sirens. However, the only thing that was being kept there was a special tablet containing important information about the treasure of Seal Rock. Before leaving the custom house, the place is attacked by the Sanguine Sirens, who are also after Emmerich. They are all easily defeated by Yashtola and forced to retreat as the Barracuda Knights are sighted. Yashtola is later seen with Thancred, Yada, and Pablamo when the player is attacked by Gaius von Balsur. She and her companions defend the player and briefly fight Gaius. She is seen protecting Thancred with her magic during the battle before she and the other Circle of Knowing members, along with the player, are badly injured by a blast from an Imperial Dreadnought. Now, I've already mentioned this, but Yashtola interacts with players who start in Limsa and also join the Maelstrom. Up next we have Yidda. Now Yidda is one of the main characters from Gridania's storyline. She's a Hure Puglist and is found in the Twelveswood nearby Gridania after falling from an airship. While Yidda is a good fighter, she is notoriously lacking in tact and manners, a fact that she is constantly scolded by her companion Papalomo. Her main reason to stay in Gridania is discovering if the city-state is planning a war against the Empire, and is from the city-state of Shralelon. Like the other members of the Circle of Knowing, she has a tattoo on her neck. Now, Yida is laid back and has no problem speaking whatever is on her mind in any situation, more often than not speaking inappropriate things, and being scolded again and again by Papalomo right after. She has no qualms asking others directly about any subject instead of trying more subtle means. She is also not very knowledgeable, often needing Papalomo to explain certain things to her. Despite all this, she does act more seriously upon a crisis, as well as being extremely optimistic. She is also a very apt fighter, however rarely gets into fights needlessly. Together with Papalomo, she provides most of the game's comic relief, specifically in Gridania's storyline. Yuta is found with Papalmo lying in the woods after ejecting from their airship and welcomed into Gridania after being found by the player. The conjurers of town are led to believe that the duo is beckoned by the elementals, and therefore are expected to do something for them, a fact that makes Yuta proclaim herself as a savior of the wood. During the course of Gridania's storyline, she is often seen with the conjurers preparing for the great ritual set to happen in the city-state. In the final mission, she and Papalmo are the ones responsible for finding Dunstan and bringing him back into town. After the ritual, the echo reverberates and the skies turn black, a fact that makes Papalmo comment with Yida that they should have stopped it and now it's too late, to which she replies that they can still find a way to stop it. She is not seen again until the 11th mission, Future's Perfect, where she joins forces with Papalmo, Yastola, and Thancred in their fight against Imperial Legatus. She is notably the only character to land a hit on the Garland General. If the player's home nation is Gridania, she and Papalmo are the ones who appear at the end of the mission, telling about the greater power needed to defeat the Garlands. Yida is also one to interact with the player if they join the Order of the Twin Adder. Now I've already mentioned him a little bit, but up next is Papalmo. Papalomo is a Lalafell Thaumaturge found in Twelveswood nearby Gridania after crashing from an airship. Unlike his companion Yida, 
He has impeccable manners and is constantly reminding his friends to behave herself. He is also noted as being able to understand Moogle speak. And like all other members of the Circle of Knowing, he has a tattoo on his neck. Also, Poplamo, he is paired with Yida for the scenes in Gridani and the Twin Adder. So everything that Yida was doing, Poplamo was there for as well. Up next we have Thancred. Thancred is a male Hure who plays a very important role in the Ulda storyline. He is a suave, smooth talker with a fondness for women, and is quite intelligent. He also has tattoos on both sides of his necks, a trait that he shares with Yida, Poplamo, and Yastola, as they are all members of the Circle of Knowing. A fun fact about Thancred, he is a bard, but he also uses throwing knives instead of the bow-harp combination bards have been shown to use. Thancred is also an Archon. Not only is Thancred a major character in the storyline for Ulda, he also is a major interaction point for the players if they decide to join the Immortal Flames. Up next we have Yurengar. Now, Yurengar is one of the primary characters in the Seventh Umbral Era storyline of Final Fantasy XIV. He is an Archon of the Circle of Knowing from the northern land of Sharlalin, like all of them. Now, Yurengar is a Wildwood Elizan in a long black and white cloak the hood pulled over his head and long ears. He wears goggles that conceal his eyes and bears the tattoo unique to the Circle of Knowing. On his back is an Arcanist staff. Now, Yurengar speaks in constant poetry. He is well versed in the prophecy pointing to the Seventh Umbral Era and recites a verse at nearly every encounter. Though his appearance and mannerisms are intimidating, he is as virtuous as any other character. Following a lead obtained during another quest, depending on the grand company that the player was affiliated with, the player tracks down one of the mages responsible for the Sixth Umbral Era 15 centuries ago. Upon meeting this mage, Yurengar, he speaks cryptically of impending doom and asks if the adventurer is willing to face it. Regardless of their answer, he senses their intent to arrest him. He calls a familiar as a distraction while he vanishes once more. After the familiar's defeat, the player encounters Yurengar's fellow circle members, who assert the coming of a seventh Umbral era. It is later revealed that Yurengar was involved in the re-establishment of the Grand Companies of Eorzea, which continue to combat, you know, this threat. After this point, Yurengar acts more behind the scenes. He has been branded a heretic by the Garland Empire, and their pursuit of him distracts them from doing greater harm to the city-states. In spite of this seclusion, he makes an appearance at most gatherings of the Circle of Knowing, and accompanies Luiso in the final scene of the Seventh Umbral Era quests. His words have also reached Inspector Hildebrand, and misinterpreting his words, the buffoon arrives on the conclusion that he is Erosia's destined hero. Udengar sees no reason to discourage any man from standing up to Dalmon, and allows him this delusion. Now, some fun trivia to note about this character is if Udengar's involvement in the Sixth Umbral Era is to be believed, either as savior or as perpetrator, it would make him at least 15 centuries old. It stands to reason that he is either ageless or the first a Realm Reborn trailer suggests people from Charlene are able to time travel. And last, we have Luiso who is involved in the primal quest and leads the group. Now, Luiso is a very prominent figure within the game as well as the overall storyline. He is the leader of the Circle of Knowing, a group involved in the Seventh Rumble Arrow storyline, and he is most notable as the NPC involved in all quests related to the primals. Now, Luiso is an elderly Elizan wearing an Acton armored leggings and a horned staff bearing the Mark of Thalic. He bears the Circle of Knowing tattoo on his forehead as well as his neck. He has white hair with a beard and a receding hairline, and closely resembles Rez from Final Fantasy Tactics A2, Grimoire of the Rift, in skin tone. Luiso, like the rest of the Circle, is well-spoken and informed. He is the typical wise old wizard offering guidance and encouraging adventurers to overcome the daunting threat of the primals. Now, Luiso travels from the Circle's homeland of Shralan to Gridania in response to the first appearance of a primal, Ifrit. Since then, he has used his skills and connections to help adventurers gather the items needed to enter the Ifarius of the primals. He has also joined the Erosian Alliance under Gridania's banner as their chief tactician. Gridania's newspaper, The Raven, also credited him with initiating the Alliance shift to the offensive as well as ushering adventurers to join the battle. During the quest Living on a Prayer, Luiso in the Circle of Knowing marked stones throughout Erosia with the symbols of the Twelve, and urged adventurers to offer prayers at each of them with the hopes of summoning the yet unseen gods. Once the final battle before Dalmon Fall began, Luiso supported the Erosian Alliance in battle, protecting its companions from Bahamut's reign of destruction with several spells. However, as Dalmon shattered and Bahamut escaped its imprisonment, 
All he could do was teleport the adventurers with an unknown spell before the dragon's mega flare ravaged the entire battlefield and presumably killed the majority of the people present in the area, including Luiso. Now, with A Realm Reborn, it is uncertain how many of the Archons will appear in the new version of the game. From the trailer and the beta, we have seen a lot of the old ones returning, but there may be new ones that also join in as well. Some fun facts about the Archons and the Circle of Knowing. Some believe the Archons either caused or rectified the Sixth Umbral Era 1500 years before the game. In the quest of Archons and Muses, it is said that the Archons are manifestations of the Twelve. There is mention of a Rogadin Archon named Albahar, the incarnation of Ralgar, and Luiso's staff bears the mark of Thalic. Of the Circle of Knowing members, Yudengar is the only one not shown in the End of an Era video. That is all for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for staying into this What in the Lore. This was all on the Circle of Knowing and the Archons within them. If there is a certain group or person or topic within the Final Fantasy XIV or XIV Realm Reborn lore that you would like me to cover, please leave it down in a comment below. And please remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share, put it on a sheet and make smoke signals with it. Do what you gotta do. Until next time, may the blessing of the Twelve be with you.